Hey guys, this is JJ here from the ASUS Suite CS2015 Trump Towers, and we're actually taking a look at all things ROG. So let's go ahead and I'll show you what we're uh, going to bring you out for 2015. So if we take a look over here on this side of the fence, we've actually got a lot of gaming peripherals. A lot of you guys might be already familiar with this mouse that we recently launched, the ROG Gladius. So this is an awesome high performance FPS centric mouse, really the cream of the crop when it comes to the features and functionality. But we're going to be introducing two new mice at more accessible price points. Uh, in terms of one and adding some more flexibility to the other. So we're going to have the Sika and we're going to have the Spatha. So these are actually all named after swords, if you guys don't notice the, the theme here. So Gladius, Sika, Spatha. So with Sika, this is going to be an ambidextrous mouse, so left or right hand usage. Also, it's very compact and lightweight, so it's good for travel. Um, now, while this is going to be more entry level in terms of the price point, we're still keeping actually a lot of premium features. You still have true independent left and right button switches. These are socketed based so that you can go ahead and change these out to like the really high quality Japanese Omron switches if you want. You've got a breathable ROG backlight right there. You've got some nice textured finishing right here that's imprinted onto the body to allow you to have a little bit better grip. Uh, and overall, it's a very high quality sensor, 5,000 DPI, 1,000 hertz polling rate. So very, very cool mouse that we're going to be offering, uh, I'd say, before the end of Q1 uh, time frame. Now, in terms of the Spatha, the Spatha really takes it up to the next level, much closer to the performance and the feature set of what you're going to have on something like, say, like the Gladius. You still get the independent left and right socketed base switches, but you improve in a couple of different regards. This is focused really at complex MOBAs, MMOs, action RPG, things along those lines. So you've got six buttons right here. There'll be customizable RGB lighting that you can go ahead and control through the back. Six buttons right there. You've got a nice imprint finish right there, so it'll give you a nice grip. Uh, you also will have RGB lighting for the scroll wheel and there will be lighting for uh, the DPI shift button right there. Uh, overall really cool in terms of the overall design and the aesthetic. It will be actually a wired and wireless mice, uh, excuse me, a wireless mouse and you're also going to have the ability to do quick charging uh, via base plate. So you can go ahead and lay the base plate down such as like that or you can go ahead and pop this guy like this and if you wanted to go ahead and have it be a vertical charge you can go ahead and rest it like that. So uh, some cool functionality there. This will be laser based, 1000 hertz polling rate on that guy and more information definitely to come in the future. So uh, that gives you some perspective in terms of the mice and the last guy is this little guy right here. Very, very cool, ultra high quality surface. So this is made out of silicone as opposed to rubber. So very good in terms of its slip resistance. It's not poor, so it won't retain smells like rubber. And of course it's gonna be spill resistant. It's got a really nice textured finish, which has really excellent tracking and precision and uh, really has no friction. You can see with just a single finger right there, I can just smoothly glide this across. Uh, we've even taken care to have this be very high quality where we've heat sealed all the edges so that when you do that, you don't get any fraying. So even if you roll this up, throw this in a bag, you do what you don't. Uh, if it gets dirty, you can just go ahead and rinse it off with some water. You're good to go and you don't have to worry about anything fraying. So this will be the whetstone, a really high quality mouse that's been optimized for both laser and optical mice. So that'll be coming soon too. Okay. Hey guys, here we're checking out the new PG27AQ. So this is pretty much looking exactly like our current ROG Swift. So the look, the feel, the functionality is all gonna be identical. What separates this monitor is gonna be first and foremost that it's 4K, it's going to be IPS, and that it adds G-Sync. This is an awesome model, uh, monitor for you guys that are looking for the highest image quality, and you're really looking to take it to the next level in terms of immersion. Uh, of course, outside of the resolution, so 3840 by 2160, you're gonna be looking at 60 hertz as the maximum refresh rate. Response time, we're still fine tuning, but it's gonna probably be about five to six milliseconds in terms of the overall response time and expect availability to be post 2Q timeframe. Uh, and of course, you can make sure to stay tuned to all of ASUS's channels for more information on pricing and availability. But for you guys that are looking for the cream of the crop in terms of resolution and uh, motion response and motion clarity, it's going to be this guy. We're taking a look here at uh, some Strix gaming accessories uh, and we've already launched the claw and we've already launched the keyboard. And now we're gonna be adding a new Strix headset. So this headset is pretty special because it's a true 7.1 headset. So for a lot of you guys out there that really love a surround in your games, you can now achieve that with an actual headphone. So if we take a look at the headphone, it looks pretty cool. First and foremost, you can see that there's actually an LED built in there with a clear acrylic. And you can actually control that. If I were to head over to, to lighting, 
I can go ahead and shift that over into a breathable LED as opposed to a fixed LED. So that looks pretty cool, but that's not what makes the Strix actually such a good headset. So first and foremost, you can go ahead and adjust this. You can swivel to go ahead and adjust to different types of head types and shapes and so on and so forth. From there, of course, you've got a removable ear pad with nice breathable material so that you can go ahead and have comfort and breathe through a long period of time. You got a nice padding here for the actual headrest as well. Now, if we take a look at the removed ear pad section, you're going to see that you have multiple drivers and that's because we have 10 neodymium magnets in here you got 7.1 sound so you got your front your side your rear and your sub uh, even compared to the razor time mat this has 40 millimeter drivers compared to 30 millimeter drivers and the really cool part to this is that these actually can be fully controlled so when we take a look here at this control pod this is when things get really exciting as you see we've got center rear side front sub so if i say switch it over to center i enable my 7.1 mode if i want to go ahead and optimize for having my center dialog be most prominent then i can go ahead and do that if i want to switch it over into the front and have my front be a little bit more prominent, I can do that. And this is plug and play, no drivers required, so it keeps all that information in there. If I don't need the 7.1, I can go ahead and disable that. You've got an operational amplifier built in there, so if you wanna be able to drive the headphones with more dynamic range, increase in volume, you can go ahead and do that. You can quickly enable, disable your microphone. There's a line level out, so that if you wanna connect your speakers, press of a button, bam, you're good to go. You can switch between your speakers and your headphone. You've got a spectrum mode down here so that if we click that guy, I can switch between different profiles such as gunshots, footsteps, action, RPG, MOBA, or racing. And that can all be done at the touch of a button. And giving you everything else on top of that, you've got environmental noise canceling. So for you guys out there uh, that are going to be using the detachable mic, which is also flexible, which is pretty cool, uh, this will actually pick up ambient noise, so light noise like a refrigerator, maybe people chattering in the background. Cancel that out so that when you're in Ventrilo, team speak, team chat, whatever it might be, you can have crisper and clearer dialogue. So this is going to be a really cool headset for you guys that are looking for something in terms of improved quality, which we've even spent time fine-tuning the mid and high frequencies to give you much better response. So whether it's gonna be music, movie, or games, you guys are gonna to wanna to check this out. So make sure to stay tuned uh, for when this guy comes out in the not too distant future. Okay, so uh, over here we have the, uh, the brand new MG279Q gaming monitor. Previously, we had to uh, compromise. Gamers had to compromise between TN panels, which had very, very fast refresh rate, and uh, but poor color and poor viewing angle. Or they could pick IPS, which has very high viewing angle and very good colors. This is no longer the case with the uh, MG279Q gaming monitor because it takes the best of both worlds. This is a WQHD 144 Hz IPS monitor right here which brings it to the next generation cutting edge monitor. Okay, so this is the, uh, the new MB169B Plus monitor, which is an updated version of the uh, MB168B Plus monitor. Essentially, uh, most of the specs are the same, except for one major difference. Instead of a TN panel, which may have poor viewing angles and color, we now upgraded it to a AHIPS, which uh, affords much better viewing angle and color. Perfect for the mobile user, because mobile users may not have the luxury of having a stable location for their monitor.